Habang nagpapahinga ka, edi katuwaan tayo. Hmm, hindi na kailangan. Tumingin ka lang sa mukha ko, matutuwa ka na eh. Our featured Filipino comedian is labeled a genius when it comes to tickling the Filipino funny button. He is skinny, got saucer eyes, and missing his two front teeth. Would even take off his dentures to get more comedy kick. He is Rene Requestas, a funny guy with his own unique brand of making people laugh. Made 43 films from 1978 to 1993 until he died at the young age of 36. Don't be sad. We are here to remember this skinny guy's eternal and incomparable contribution to the world of comedy in the Philippines. To briefly illustrate how funny our skinny guy is, we have prepared five lists of René Requesta's uniquely Pinoy and genius funny scenes. René Requesta's Ashitae Sinunod ko ang payo ng aking mga magulang na huwag ako masyado mag-iinom ng kape dahil masama sa aking kutis. Di sinasanay hindi ganito ang aking kutis. KUTIS POR SILANA! Rene's 1991 fantasy comedy film is fifth on our list. Why? Because Filipinos are obsessed with anting-anting or agimat. They are amulets or charms that give the bearer certain powers beyond the ordinary human capacity. Rene's film is about unbelievable superpowers. Given to a very weak and poor guy, the underdog to be exact. Who else would need an anting-anting but a skinny and poor guy like Rene? Who in this film is the character Chitae? Yes, a parody of Cheetah, the animal companion of the authentically muscled and handsome Tarzan from an American film. There is an additional E for the uniquely Pinoy comic expression to make it Chitae. In this scene, capturing the Pinoy soul is Rene, who after saving a wounded Amazon woman, was given a stone which gives Chitae superpowers like that of Wonder Woman. So Chitae gets the colorful bra, bikini, and long, curly, and shiny mane but not the looks. And the power to fly and be strong but not the intelligence. Ayo, ko. Wait for, me and you will see. for us at High Five, this is so Pinoy. It is a world mix of Tarzan and Wonder Woman from America and René Requestas with the laughable tragedy of an ugly and poor Pinoy outcast who is redeemed by his kindness and innocence and so defeats the evil forces and eventually becomes the superhero of them all. Rene Requestas, the desperate guy from the province. Wanted immediately. Sales representative. Aba, parang congressman ah. In this scene, Rene plays that funny guy from the province who had the false teeth and false meat that Manila is the land of bounty. Oh yeah, Manila is the New York of the Philippines. So coming to Manila on false hopes, Rene ends up desperate for a job that will pay the rent. He would really need to find a job, especially if he ends up staying with an uncle who has insatiable taste for women and massage centers. So Rene looks for a job in the newspaper job ad section. He founds one, sales representative. Qualifications With pleasing personality Unsure, Rene looks straight at the camera and breaks the fourth wall to ask the audience. <laughs> ano sa palagay niyo? Yes, that fourth wall is the imaginary boundary between any fictional work and its audience. Breaking the fourth wall, Rene bridges his fictional world to the real world of the audience. Standing on false dreams and unrealistic self-estimation, Rene's comedy shows that there is no shortcut to success as he ends up vending unsuccessfully the special offer of various grocery items in a big heavy box under the heat of the sun. Ito ba yung sinasabi nila willing to travel? Tagilid na yung lakad ko sa travel Rene Requestas, the poor and intelligent student. Isasara ko na lang itong boarding house ko. Huwag alim Romana. Bakit? Dahil pag isinara ninyo, hindi kayo makakalabas. Oh, no. In Ang Leon at Tigre, the funny man Rene is paired with the equally dynamic and entertaining Maricel Soriano. Rene and Maricel play the characters of students who always compete with each other and yet always end up conniving on some misdeed. The film opens with Rene about to leave his boarding house in his neat and clean polo and comb hair but only to be grilled for the monthly rent by his old and unforgiving landlady. How many students can relate to? There are many of us who went through tertiary school surviving the daily worry of being evicted from the pad. 
In school, René gets to compete with the intelligent Maricel, debating Maricel's feminist critic of philandering policemen. René gets to be critical and yet still funny. His words are serious but his face isn't. Ang dapat manguna sa pagiging isang polis ay ang kanyang hangarin at layunin na makatulong sa mamamayan at protektahan ng mamamayan laban sa criminal elements. So he gets away with social critic and still come across funny. All professions want to earn a living, but for a policeman, this concern should be secondary. A policeman should put helping and protecting people against criminal elements first because I believe being a policeman is a noble profession. These are serious words that the only funny face Rene can effectively turn into comedy. Because I believe being a policeman is a noble profession. Hmm. Rene Requestas, pioneering postmodern storyteller. Natatakot akong lumaban. Sige! Lumaban ka! Sagot kita sa Diyos! At pag namatay ka, hintayin mo ako sa langit! Susunod ako at ipagtatakul kita! This film launches the pioneering and tradition-breaking humor of this funny guy. The epic poem about a legendary bird written during 16th century Spanish colonial Philippines, René Requestas playing the protagonist, Principe Abante, not only breaks the fourth wall between the fictional character and the audience. Ito, ang sweet and juicy hot dog. He also brings in modern elements into a film set in the olden times. He gets a modern-day worker in the sex industry as an extra and a blue security guard as a palace guard, takes out a television set in his backpack to tune into contemporary entertainment, and meets the field rebel priest Father Balweg along the way. René was an artist acting out of the ordinary outside the box. Paired with the two evil brothers played by the iconic villain character actor Paquito Diaz and evil sidekick Buaya, René also shows that there is humor in Philippine innocence and purity. Ang mahalaga sa akin ay gumaling ka agad ang aking mahal na amang hari sa lalong madaling panahon. Fueled by the desire to get their father, the king, to get well, Rene's character eventually overcomes the challenge of not falling asleep to the song of the singing Adarna bird. Rene gets the bird and also saves his malicious brothers who were turned to stone by the song of the Adarna bird. In English, the quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. Rene Requestas the failing student. Philippine history. Hmm. CCU. Capital P-U-P. CCU. In Michael and Madonna film, where René Requestas co-stars with teen sensation of the late 80s and early 90s, Manilin Reynes. René is again featured as a student character. Nakasyagi kayo ah! Anong syagi? Syagi! Sa gilid lang ang buhok! <laughs> Indeed, many of his films reflect the student life. This is not surprising since René in real life was not really interested in the academic life such that event when he was offered a scholarship by the famous directors of the time. René chose to concentrate on the stage and the world of film. In the scenes in this movie, we are told to stop being judgmental of people. He says, Stop, look, and listen! As what is written on the walls of a typical Filipino elementary classroom. Before we conclude on anything negative toward others, the poor, ugly, and failing guy plays the protagonist once more. Our favorite scene in this film happens in a place none other than the classroom, where the fun always happens. The teacher asks, who killed Lapu-Lapu? The common joke is that it was the cook who killed Lapu-Lapu, which is the expensive fish variety name after the hero Lapu-Lapu. The Lapu-Lapu fish found plentiful in the Visayan seas. Asked by his professor played by Paquito Diaz, who killed Lapu-Lapu? René puts a new twist to a common joke and so denies that he killed Lapu-Lapu. Sino ang pumatay kay Lapu-Lapu? Ikaw, Michael! Ba, hindi ako, sir! <laughs> Kahit mahirap lang kami, hindi ko magagawa yun! At the time, no one in the movie audience saw that innovative twist coming. An innovator, rule-breaker, and postmodern comedian in the Philippine comedy scene, René Requestas earns the title of a Pinoy high-five comedy genius. His legacy proves that you can still be funny even when you are portraying the harshest yet still humorous truths in this chaotic yet still adorable world. Uh, mother, why don't you greet them? Say happy All Things Day. Give us a like if you like our video. Show us some love and support by clicking the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you will never miss out.